Hi and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Michael Novello from RichPix.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a camouflage texture like this or like this. And it's really easy to do and let's jump in. At first we need a new document. I prefer a document size of 9020 to 1080 with a 72 dpi. And if you want to print that, just raise the DPI to about 300 DPI. But for this, uh, 72 DPI will be enough. So at first we need a background. So I'm going to choose a color. First, a greenish, gray color, something like that. And click OK. And I'm going to fill that and then I'm creating a new layer and I reset the color swatches by pressing D and I'm going to filter render clouds and now I'm going to press ctrl L to bring up the image adjustment and this time it's destructive uh, not non-destructive because it's really easy to reproduce so I don't need that. I bring the, the sliders to the middle somewhere there so that the black and whites really separated and there's no gray in there. There's only two colors. So I click OK. And now we have to select one of these, the white or the black. It depends on what you want to have, which pattern. So I'm going to select color range and this time I want to keep the whites. So I click on blanks and click OK. And going to selection again to select modify smooth to smooth out the selection by about five pixels. And then I'm hitting delete. And now we have to colorize that. This is pretty easy to do. Just go to the layer of X effects here. Go to color all overlay and choose a color. In this, this case I choose, let's go with a dark green here and click OK. And OK again. So, and then we need another layer and filter, render clouds. And then again, Control L. And this time I'm going to uh, bring the sliders to another position because I wanted to have a different pattern. So I'm going this time with that. And again, I want to keep the whites. I'm going to color, color range, I select color range and I click on the blacks here and click OK. And go to select, modify, smooth. And again with five pixels, and I'm going to delete that. And again to the effects, color overlay. Oh, at first we have to let's uh, deselect by Control D the selection. So effects, color overlay, and this time I'm choosing a different a different green. Let's try to stay um, try to stay in the same uh, area here, so the, the, that you have the same grayish tint here, the same. Um, brightness. So I click OK again and OK. And the last time another layer again filter render clouds and then control L bring the sliders to another position and let's see what's coming out. And this time we keeping the blacks. OK select color range and click on a white and click OK and select modify smooth again with five pixels and delete it and again effects oh, first deselection and now we have a little bit uh, of the whites left so we have to expand the smoothness again. So I'm going to uh, 
going back, control set and select modify smooth and again with five pixels. And let's try that. Uh, still there are a little bit of whites. So again, control set and selection modify smooth and let's go with 10 pixels this time and let's expand the selection as well by five pixels so now it should there should be no uh, there's still still some whites so we have to somehow figure out how we can do that selection color range and I pick a white one. I hope that's it. And let's expand the selection again by five pixels and delete it. Oh, okay, that's it. That's cool. And now let's go to color overlay, FX, color overlay. And this time let's choose another color. Again, the same level here, and click OK. And that's it. That's how you create camouflage textures in Photoshop. You can work more on that. You can make uh, smaller patterns. Um, you can choose another color like here. It's a grayish tint. Or here, it's much brighter. That's it. I hope you like my tutorials and if you like them, please subscribe to my channel and I see you next time. Bye.